Today on The Cycle, it's all about the Green Book, or shall I call it the Little White Lies Book. If you're ready for rock and roll journalism, strap on your seatbelt, crack open a cold one, and put on about seven rubbers. This one could get dirty. I'm Samson Crouppen, and this is My Daily Spin. All right, guys, as I said, today's cycle is all about the Green Book and the controversy that is surrounding it after the Oscars. Okay, so first off, we know Spike Lee was not very happy about the Green Book winning, obviously. I mean, he was much happier a few moments earlier when he jumped on Samuel L. Jackson like a small school child. Did I jump up on him? You did. <laughs> but, you know, Spike had some very good points. Listen here. I'm snake bit. I mean, every time somebody's driving somebody, I lose. <laughs> But they, they, they changed the seating arrangement. Yeah, it's the reverse Driving Miss Daisy. It shouldn't have been called the Green Book. It should have been called Driving Jamal. I've never had fried chicken in my life. You people love the fried chicken. You have a very narrow assessment of me, Tony. Yeah, right? My point is, they didn't consult the family. The family themselves called this movie a symphony of lies. Do you hear that shit? That is an entire symphony of motherfuckers lying. And let's be honest, do you really think the son of the racist Italian driver dude is gonna make his dad out to be who he really was? It's like making a Holocaust movie with German writers, producers, and you didn't even consult the Jewish guy's family who was in the concentration camp. And here's the most fucked up part. How do you make the black dude the supporting role and the racist the lead? Come on. And to cap it all off, they think Vigo, not the guy in the back seat who the movie and story is about. And this doesn't start, by the way, without Vigo Mortensen. Right there, we have no movie. All these awards are because Vigo. I just want to end all these segregation, Jim Crow, slavery movies, Civil War movies that are told by fucking white people, okay? How many N-words were put in that script with three white writers? And it's clear that Hollywood would rather have black actors play the help instead of the superhero. Facts, like my brother Jay-Z says, facts. Well, folks, I could talk about the Green Book all day. We're gonna go into it a little bit more and sit and spin with Guy Tori and Jesse Conweiler. But what are you guys tired of? You tell me, submit your stories. Since your world, I'm just spinning it. I'm Samson Crouppen, and this is My Daily Spin.